I have all of the keychains out of their little baggies. <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> well, half this box is gone. Did I do that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way, why is that like the best lighting? It's definitely a lot and it's not sustainable. We're leaving in about an hour to go look at rings. <laughs> I think this is my favorite ring that I've looked at so far. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is another market prep vlog and I have two big markets this weekend. They're different markets. So I have one Saturday, one Sunday. And today is Tuesday, it's 9.30 in the morning. And I'm gonna go over my to-do list with you for the week. But I wanted to start by saying I've kind of put a new schedule into place for myself that I'm really liking where I don't vlog on Mondays and I just work and try to get as much done as I can because vlogging definitely slows me down and I think it would be nice to have a day off from vlogging because I vlog every day otherwise unless I don't have a fair on Saturday or Sunday but I'm pretty much vlogging every day and yeah that's been helpful to get a lot done and just feel like I have a day off I mean I'm still working all day but a day off from vlogging. So I love vlogging though, it's just nice to have a break. So I have my to-do list here, and in no particular order, I have a keychain restock. So I got new keychains in the mail. I actually broke this into three parts. I need to open my keychains, I need to list the new keychain designs, I have new keychain designs coming, and then restock them by putting them away into their spots. I also, I need to write this down, I need to make stickers for the new designs. Um, so. I'll do that later. I also need to finish the backs of coasters. I have a bunch of car coasters that I cut out yesterday that I need to glue and finish. And then I need to pack and ship orders and I will be, I think, all caught up on orders after I do that today. And then I need to start new coasters. I think that's it. And if you like this to-do list, it is my own design. I sell it on my Etsy. If I remember, I'll link it down below. But yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start with finishing the backs of the coasters. And I'm gonna put YouTube or Gilmore Girls on while I work. I started Gilmore Girls yesterday. I'm like six or seven episodes in. So good. Can't believe I waited this long to watch it, but <laughs> it's good if you haven't watched it either. But yeah, let's get going on the to-do list. Now I wanted to get you out. I'm working on a plan right I just finished putting the branding and backs on all of these coasters and I'm gonna restock my board and then pack up the orders that need to be shipped. I also have a punch needle kit that needs to go out today. I was just waiting to make this coaster so this is part of the order. She also ordered a to-do list so that's one of the orders that needs to be packed up. So this is what we're working with. Also I've been having Duncan hang out with me in the office while I work and it's so nice. He's been so good. He just sits in his bed and chews. Oh, don't eat that. <laughs> Chews on his toys. I've been having to collect the pieces he's breaking off. Um, but yeah, he's been a good boy. Right, Duncan? And it's nice because I want to keep an eye on him. So he's not getting into anything. He just chills out. Couldn't ask for a better puppy. And it's crazy. He's already like five and a half months old. I feel like we just got him. Time is flying, the summer flew by. It's like so scary, everyone says this, but truly, as I'm getting older, time is like flying by. Honestly, I think it's because I'm loving life. <laughs> like I'm loving what I'm doing. I was saying to Sean, I was like, I feel like I have a different outlook on a work week than most people have. Like I want it to be longer because I want more time to prep for the weekend markets. <laughs> so like yesterday I was like, 
oh, there goes Monday. Like, I wanted it to last longer, so it's kind of funny, but I'm gonna pack up these orders and then we will see what I'm gonna do next. I'll probably do the keychains after that. So first order is from Miss Sam, and she has been such a big supporter of my YouTube and buying products from me on Etsy. She always leaves very sweet comments, so thank you so much. I'm excited to pack up your order. Sorry it took a little bit to get out. I had to make your coaster, but I have just enough stuff prepared to make one more kit, and then I have to make more supplies for the next launch, which I would love to be able to launch more by Friday of this week. Today is the 19th of September, so a few days, hopefully I can have more out. Which she did not get glue sticks. I'm going to start her box with the kit and let me grab her other items. Okay, so she also ordered the Pooh Bear coaster and then a to-do list. I'm going to wrap the to-do list in some bubble wrap, I think. And then for this, I'm going to put it in here. And these are water-soluble packing peanuts. Okay, this is what my coaster inventory is looking like. It's pretty bare. Um, and I'm a little nervous because we have some big markets this weekend. So or what we think is going to be big. We haven't been there yet. Let's add these coasters to start. So I have a strawberry, pumpkin, red toad, green toad, another donut, a bee, and a smiley face. Okay, we've got a lot of work to do. But for now, let's pack up these orders. So this one is for... Rachel.
It's 11.04 and since launching the punch needle kits, I haven't been caught up on orders and I'm still not caught up. I have one order. She ordered a non-waterproof hot Cheeto sticker. So I still have to pack that. But it feels so good to be caught up. I just hate when you guys are waiting for your orders. Obviously it's part of <laughs> the process, but I don't know, it gives me anxiety. So glad I'm pretty much caught up. And now I just have a lot of car coasters to make for myself. Uh, but right now I have some other things I need to get done. Also I added edit video to my to-do list because I have to edit last week's market prep video. It's unfortunate that it takes me like six to eight hours to edit those videos, but maybe I'll start on that tonight. That could be a good idea because right now when I have all this energy, I want to do some other things that don't require me to just sit on the couch and edit. So also I just want to say I have a pumpkin spice latte. I don't know if that's like technically what this is, but we made our coffee, our cold brew, which it's funny because the only coffee we had left was hazelnut and we didn't know how it was going to taste with our new creamer, but we have hazelnut coffee and then I added the Chobani pumpkin spice creamer, which is my first time trying it. It's so good. We love the Chobani creamer. Um, it's like a specific one we like. I think it's like the sweet cream. I think that's what it's called, but this is amazing. I'm going to have to stock up on that creamer, but right now I'm going to make the stickers for the new keychain designs that I have so I can add them to this storage and organize my keychains once I unpack them. Uh, and then when I go to print those and cut them on my Cricut, I'm gonna include her Hot Cheeto sticker. So that'll be good. I'll be able to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> I don't like that expression. I don't know why I just said it. Um, <laughs> but let me tell you what the new keychain designs are. I'm like happy because I just realized there's another one I forgot about. We have Duncan. Did I show you Duncan? I don't know if I showed you Duncan. I share so much on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, consider it. I post like real time there. So I showed the Duncan keychains over there but I have yet to show them on YouTube. So let me show you. And I am planning on listing the extras. And I was like, is that crazy? I also made a Duncan sticker. Oh, I already talked about that in my last video. But I'm planning on listing the extra Duncan keychains. And I'm, yeah, I'm like, is that crazy? So I took another poll. I posted another poll on Instagram, which is another reason to follow me. I do polls all the time over there. And people said, everyone said to list him, so I'm going to. Okay, this is the Duncan keychain. I had to find him. He's already on my keys and on Sean's keys, and we have a Winnie keychain too, so they're best buds hanging on my keys. How cute is that? And then let me show you the new designs I got, or like the ones I can, because they're not all accessible. But first I have the Papillon. I think that's how you say it. And this is actually, it was originally a custom sticker, and she had a little outfit on, but I took the outfit off and made it into a keychain, so we have that one. Then I have a gray Great Dane. I have a tan Great Dane already, but I'm finding that the gray one is more popular. So here he is in gray. And I'd say more popular, like when I'm at the fairs and just in life, I see more gray ones than tan ones. Also ignore the dried hot glue on my hand. Um, so that's the gray Great Dane. Then, this guy looks kind of funny to me, but this is like what the coloring is when I looked it up. Um, this is the tri-colored corgi, and I see so many of the multicolored tri-colored corgis at markets, so I wanted to offer that color. And then the other new design I have is the Maltese. So let's see if I can find that. I'm glad I finally have this one. I want to do a uh, Great Pyrenees as well, or a Samoyed. Those are kind of similar looking, but here is a Maltese. I can't believe it took this long for me to get a Maltese. Ah, how cute. Oh my God. I like how it's like bigger. Some of them seem bigger because they're wider. Like the Great Dane seems so small to me. because It's just thin. Isn't that weird? They're all two inches tall though. Okay. Oh my God, they're all falling out. I'm gonna make the stickers for these and then unpack these, so let's do it. I really think we should be kissing, talking, 
Now officially caught up on orders. I just have to bring this to the mail room and I'm gonna start opening the keychains. Actually, first I'm gonna put the um, stickers onto the little drawers and then we can do opening all of these keychains. Okay, so I wanna keep the same breed together. So now I have like a tri-colored corgi. So I'm gonna switch out whatever's next to the corgi and put this there. Let's put the sticker on first. So I have Dalmatian was next to it, so I'm going to move this and then I keep the cats together. So Okay, then I have the Grey Great Dane, so I have the Husky next to the Great Dane right now. I'm going to move this. Okay, wow, this is really filling up. I'm like two and three quarters of the way filled with this storage. And these are actually individual um, storage pieces. I have four of them stacked. And they're from the container store, if you're wondering. have all of the keychains out of their little baggies and if you're wondering those bags are compostable so don't fear <laughs> they're not plastic um, but yeah I'm going to put away all of the old designs and then leave out the new ones so that I can take product photos and I think I'll also film a TikTok restocking the new designs um, or stocking them because this is the first time they're being stocked and it's what time is it 12, 10 right now and I'm gonna make Sean and I some lunch after I put most of these keychains away and then we're gonna head to deposit some cash so that's the plan let's get some of this put away I've been back from the bank for a while now and I just got done with uploading all the new keychain designs posting about it on my Instagram editing a reel restocking them and a TikTok restocking them and posting that and now I'm going to work on car coasters for my inventory for this weekend's market so let's get going on that my friend's coming over tonight we're gonna go to the gym and she's gonna have dinner here so I want to get a lot done before then hopefully 2.30, like I said, she's coming probably around like 4 or 5, so let's grind until then.
It is 3.30 and my friend's gonna be here in like 20 to 30 minutes. This is what I've gotten done <laughs> on the coasters. Not a ton, but I haven't been working on them for that long. I just had a snack. You have so much energy. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Ah, you're so big. You're so much harder to pick up. He's so much harder to pick up now that he's so big. It's like 30 pounds now. Um, oh my gosh. When did you get so big, Dunk? Huh? Anyways, I'm gonna start editing last week's market prep vlog until she gets here and then I might not see you until tomorrow because she'll probably be here till late. So that's that. I'll continue working on car coasters tomorrow and probably I'll do editing tomorrow as well. And I wanna start prepping materials for another punch needle kit launch. I wanna make those live Friday. I'm gonna talk to Sean again. I think I'm gonna wait until we get the punch needles in the mail. They're supposed to come tomorrow and then announce that the launch is gonna be on Friday, as long as Sean thinks that's a good plan as well. So yeah, that's that. I will see you probably tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> I have an update. It's nothing about the business. It's 4.20 right now and my friend is on her way. Do you wanna be in frame for this? So this is half my fault because we were being a little rowdy. I got you excited. And I'm like kissing him on the head when he's like excited. And he jolted his head up. <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> but his tooth hit my tooth and I chipped my front tooth. So I called the dentist and now I have an appointment at 1 p.m. on Thursday. And I also have to teach Thursday. So we'll see how productive I can be Thursday. But look at my tooth. Wait, can you see? You can totally see. I want it to focus. Sorry if you think this is gross, but look it. What the heck? So, that's lovely. Could have been worse. Um, it's only gonna be like a 30 to 45 minute appointment. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they're gonna shave it or like fill it somehow, but yeah. So that's an update on life. <laughs> and now I have a funny little story to tell my friend when she gets here. I'm just annoyed at myself because I don't really care that it happened, like it's fixable. Better be, it's just cosmetic. Like it's not deep enough that it's an issue. But um, I'm annoyed because now I have to take out part of my day to go get this fixed, but that's life. I can't have every second of every day dedicated to working, so. Okay, yep, that's that. <laughs> it's the next morning, today is Wednesday, and it's 9.30 right now. And I just spent like an hour hour and a half editing last week's market prep. I only have like 13 minutes edited, so still have a lot to go on that, but I really need to get car coasters done. So right now I'm gonna start back up where I left off doing car coasters. Maybe I'll pick up editing again later today. The only thing I have to do today is go to my parents to get packages. <laughs> um, if you know, you know. That's like all I have planned other than, sorry, I'm like, I look crazy. I just come on and film like I don't get ready for the day like that much when I'm just working from home. So I just like, I have bed head, like it's <laughs> a whole thing. But anyways, yeah, that's all I have planned today. So I'm gonna be able to dedicate like all of today working on car coasters and editing. So let Sean is gonna be making candles later today. So I'll try to film that. And then I might get stuff prepared for kits if I still wanna launch them Friday. Oh, that's what it is. I'm waiting for punch needles to come in today then I can figure out what the plan is.
Okay, it is 1.50 and I'm punch needling still. This is where we're at. Doesn't look like it got a ton done, but I've said this before, the details take a long time and then it's quicker. So these heart coasters should be done soon. Same with the uh, mushrooms. So those four at least by tonight. But I wanted to give a little update on today's plans. So as I was saying, I only was gonna go to my parents later. I think that was the only plan I had. Well, we now are also gonna drive, I don't know where exactly, probably somewhere in Massachusetts, but an hour away, around like four, I think we're gonna leave, and we're going to pick up a Peloton bike from Craigslist. So we found this bike for like a third of the cost, and we're gonna get it and bring it here and put it in our apartment, and I'm so excited because I just think it's gonna be something I really enjoy doing. Uh, like every day or every other day, I can take a cycle class. And also I could just ride the bike and watch YouTube. Although I think I'll mostly be taking classes. So that's a little update. I still have to go to my parents. I think I'm gonna leave, what time did I say? It's 1.50. I'll probably leave in like 20 to 30 minutes. Go do that. Let the dogs play, pick up my packages, and then come back here. And then whenever Sean gets home, we're gonna leave to go get the Peloton bike. And I think I'm gonna bring my iPad on that trip and work on a custom design that I have to do for a customer. So that's the update. I'm gonna keep working on coasters for a little bit and then head over to my parents and I will see you when I see you. We just got back from picking up this Peloton from Craigslist, Sean found it. It was $550 and new, it's $1,500 and it's basically brand new. The guy said he like never uses it or never used it. So um, we're feeling lucky. I'm so excited to be able to cycle at home. Oh, this is gonna be great. We still have to put it in its proper spot, but Sean is finishing putting the monitor on, which is huge. I didn't realize they were this big. So great. I think it's like 8, 8.30ish, and we just got home from getting the Peloton bike, which I'm so excited for. I think I'm gonna do my first class Friday because tomorrow's just too crazy. Because I have my dentist appointment, and then I teach at night, and I still need to plan my classes for teaching. I'll do that in the morning. But I wanna open some packages that I picked up from my parents earlier. So I guess we'll start with, I got two, oh, one of these is totally damaged. I do not know how that happened. Oh my god. Well, half this box is gone. Did I do that? Well, anyways, I got these boxes from Walmart. <laughs> so I got those boxes, and I have another pack of those boxes in the car. I think there's like 30-something in there, so I'll have plenty with the two packs combined. Then, I got another shipment of transfers, and I'm just gonna quickly go through these, because if you saw my last video, I think my last video, or two videos ago, two videos ago, you would have already seen most of these designs, but I got more of the, I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot. That's what it looks like the right way. And I got more of the Fueled by Ice Coffee and Anxiety. And then for my friend's tote bags, I only got two of the coffee ones. Um, I got Ghouls Just Wanna Have Fun, so. I will be putting these on. I was just saying in one of my last videos that I'm gonna do like a fall themed girls night, girls day with two of my best friends. And I wanna make them tote bags and put some fall items in there. So this is what the print is gonna be on the tote bags. So I've got that. And then, oh, this is exciting. I have no idea about a timeline for what I'm about to talk about. But Sean really wants to make punch needle frames and sell them for anyone who wants to start punch needling and wants a nice frame like the one that I use. So we got gripper strips that go on the edges that you put the fabric on. It's basically strips of sharp, sharp needles. So we got a bunch of these uh, to make those frames. Very exciting. And then the last thing for now is I got more of these little sealable bags. This is the size of one of them. 
good for my stickers. So I was kind of low on these. And I use these bags for the yarn for my kits, my punch needle kits. So I wanted to get more of these. So those are the packages I got. Oh, I'm pretty sure, like I'm 100% sure that I'll be launching new kits this Friday, which is the 22nd of September. So I don't think they're gonna be sold out this time. So if you didn't get one and you want one, I highly doubt they're sold out. If they are, wow, that's crazy, but I don't think they're gonna be because it's the second launch and we're launching more than the first time. So I will link those below. I'm going to make car coasters tonight, like keep working on those, and I might continue to edit the vlog tonight. And then Sean is making candles tonight. And then after that, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's a busy day, like I've been saying, so we'll see what we can get done. Okay, we are in my office. Oh. <laughs> Sean is trying to rearrange the packing peanuts, I think. But just a quick update, he is not gonna do candles tonight. I think he's gonna glue the wicks, right? Is that your plan? Yeah. I think he's just gonna glue wicks, he decided. So I don't know that I'm gonna vlog that. But are you doing candles tomorrow? Probably. Probably tomorrow, if not Friday. Um, and then I'll vlog it. It's okay, tomorrow it is. Uh, and then I'm gonna go punch needle. I was editing the YouTube video, the next one that needs to go up a little bit but yeah i'm just gonna punch needle and i think that's it for updates for tonight and i will see you tomorrow good morning today is thursday i couldn't remember what day it was for a second today's thursday and it is 11:04 a.m and i've just been editing this morning and i think i need to like not keep editing because i will just like keep going until the video is done and then it's like 2 p.m and i haven't done any punch needle uh so that's not what we're trying to do. <laughs> Although like I also do need to edit the video. So it's, it's hard to balance that. But I am gonna take a break from editing and I'm gonna pack up a couple of orders for keychains. Someone ordered a Shih Tzu keychain and then someone ordered a Maltese, which is a new design and a orange tabby cat keychain. So I'm actually gonna also film packing these on TikTok and then after I do this, I'm gonna get to work punch needling. I finished a little more punch needle last night. I finished up the mushrooms. I did a pink mushroom and a red, no, a green mushroom. So I'm gonna keep punch needling. I wanna get that sheet done today, if not today, tomorrow. Yeah, it's very weird. I feel like the beginning of the week, I get a full sheet done. And then it takes me like the rest of the week to do another sheet. And I don't know why. I think I just end up doing other things throughout the week so I don't dedicate as much time to punch needle. Uh, but anyways, that's the plan. So let's pack up these orders. Also, Sean put all of these wicks into these cans last night. He wants to make 40 candles tonight. And I think he's gonna try to do it while I'm teaching tonight. So I might not be able to get footage of it, but I'll show you the candles after at least. But this is gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> Call you pretty, but it never goes as planned. You think it's funny, I'm just trying to be a man. I wanna show you in the best way that I can That I'm so in love with you Try to be serious but you can never tell It isn't easy to confess how hard I felt When we've just been friends since the day we met I don't know what to do Cause how can I try to cross all the lines That we've always had between you and I the suit if I'm just a friend to you How can I make you change your mind to see me different? Wish I could get your eyes on my prescription Cause maybe all it takes is the same vision For me to get your heartbeat going just as fast as mine Cause I could... It's 1.30 and I just got back from fixing the damage that this little guy caused. So my chip has been shaved down and it looks a whole lot better. So yeah, ow, don't do it again. Um, I'm gonna have some lunch. Sean made us ground turkey tacos for lunch, very exciting. And then I'm gonna get back to punch needling. Then I have to go teach at 4.30 I leave. So I have three hours until I have to leave. I also, 
think I want to review what I'm teaching tonight just so I have a better idea before I go into the class. So that's that. Too serious. I try to keep it in my head, but it isn't really going well. Feeling like we gotta meditate, but I can't escape. And now I hate myself, I hate my thoughts. We're thinking about you, and I'm thinking a lot. Cause I'm never around you. I will tell you, but I don't know how to say what I'm feeling. Now I've been feeling down. Cause I feel the distance growing. Spending more days without you. Don't like where we are going. Is it so weird to think that we could be more than friends? Am I just overthinking? Am I not making sense? Cause maybe I could change your mind to see me different And I could get your eyes on my prescription And maybe all it takes is the same vision For me to get your heartbeat going just as fast as mine It's 2.30 and Duncan is sleeping behind me as I work And it's the cutest thing ever But this is the update on the coasters I have one, two, three, four Oh my gosh, I only have four car coasters and then two big ones, the Kirby's, and then a couple of phone grips that I need to finish. So I'm gonna keep working on these tonight. Right now though, I think I'm gonna take a break from that and continue editing the YouTube video, the next one that needs to go up, the same one I've been working on. And then I'm gonna review my class material for tonight and then we'll see what time it is. I just feel like I need a break from punch needling right now, so. That's what I'm gonna do. But I don't know how to say what I'm feeling now. I've been feeling down because I feel the distance growing. Spending more days without you. Don't like where we are going. Is it so weird to think that we could be more than friends? Am I just overthinking? Am I not making sense? Cause maybe I could change your mind to see me different. And I could get your eyes on my prescription. And maybe all it takes is the same vision for me to get your heartbeat going just as fast as mine. And then I could be your guide. You know, I keep you by my side. But maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I'm too serious da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. da, 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 da I guess I'm too serious I call you pretty but I'm back from teaching dance and Sean has been in the office making candles. He's gonna continue. He said like 15 more minutes, so I'm gonna work on punch needling for that time, and then we're gonna head to my parents. We have punch needles to pick up at their house for the launch of more kits tomorrow. Oh, also, um, I found out on the way to dance that Saturday's market has been canceled because of high winds and rain. And then Sunday, the market is with a different event. Um, their rain or shine and the forecast is rain, so <laughs> that will be interesting. But now we have a free day Saturday, and honestly, I think Sean and I are gonna use it to do something fun because, <laughs> I mean, we like don't ever get a day off. So that's exciting. And I'm gonna work on punch needling now and also probably at my parents. It's the next morning, today is Friday, and it's 9.30, and I've been spending the morning editing. I'm so close to getting the video done. It's like an hour and 15 minutes right now, so this is a long one. They're all pretty long at this point, but this I think is gonna be the longest one that I've posted thus far. But I'm gonna be launching the punch needle kits in like 45 minutes, and I just wanna make sure I have enough supplies to launch 50 kits. So I just went through and counted the boxes for shipping, and I have 50, I have more than 50, and now I'm gonna count other materials. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I also have punch needles I need to unbox, and there should be 50 of them. Okay, I just counted these white boxes and I have 39 of them, so I need to order more of those. I'm still gonna release 50 kits because they'll come in time for shipping out kit orders, um, and I don't think I'm gonna sell 50 kits right now, but if I do, that'll be fine. I have a few punch needles, I need to open the new ones. Let's count 18. 18. Good. 
out. I have 58 here. Let's open up the punch needles. I also need to cut out felt. We have a lot of work to do. We have like no supplies prepped. I'm planning on just kind of prepping as people order. Um, and then if people order a lot, Sean and I can spend a night just prepping supplies for the kids. So we have a different approach this time. <laughs> what a sight. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's count these. Perfect, we have 50. I'm gonna leave some in here because they don't all fit in the drawer. Okay, cool. So I am officially all set to launch 50 kits. It's 9.30 right now, so I will launch them in 30 minutes. And I'll keep you updated on how sales go. I really have like no expectations. I don't even know if I'm gonna sell one today because I just didn't hype it up as much and I'm assuming most people who wanted one already got one. Duncan is coming in to keep me company. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm just gonna eat some breakfast and edit a little more before I set the kids live. The time is 11.23, so the kids have been available for almost an hour and a half. And I have sold a total of seven, which is very good. Like I said, I have no expectations, so that's amazing. Wait, yeah, seven, okay, I thought I got another order. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that by the time this video goes up, uh, there's still some available so that you can grab one if you're just finding out that they're available again. Uh, so they'll be linked in the description. I'm sure there'll be some available. And yeah, I'm gonna punch needle right now. And I've gotten a later start on today. Well, that's not true. It's not that I got a later start. The video I was editing just took forever. These videos take a long time to edit. Uh, so I just finished editing and it's exporting to my hard drive and then I need to upload it to YouTube. So in the meantime, I'm gonna continue punch needling. My goal is to finish that punch needle sheet I've been working on, finish the backings of the coasters, and then I think I'm gonna be happy with that being it for market prep for Sunday because I just don't think I'm gonna get another sheet done by Sunday. I do have orders I need to do for car coasters and now I have to prepare the supplies for the kits. So I might do that later today um, after I punch needle. We'll see how long the punch needling takes me. So let's just start with that. Let's go. Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice Take it for a walk while we talk about our lives I just want to spend some quality time Some quality time And I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like I just want to spend some quality time Some quality time But no one ever really gets it I swear I got the best intentions Cause I'm not really good at saying your words But we can find a way to make you Work. What's your favorite kind of movie? It doesn't really matter to me Cause I'm down to do whatever is the mood Just tell me what I can do to make you mine Baby, I've been trying to love you the way I do best So would you just take my hand and let's go Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice Take it for a walk while we talk about our lives I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time And I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time You can tell me how your day went And I will listen to the days end We could grab a dinner at a mom and pop Spin a while it's at a five star spot It doesn't matter what we're choosing Cause I could just spend all my time with you for all my days So just tell me It's three o'clock right now and let me give you an update on however many kits we sold 12 kits and there's one order that has three other items in it She ordered a Pooh Bear coaster, a Shiba Inu keychain and two car coasters with her kit. All the other kits are just the kit, so I'll be able to get those out hopefully pretty quickly. 
that's very good i have already said this like three times but i didn't know what to expect and therefore my expectations have been met and exceeded and thank you so much if you ordered a kit i'm so excited about these kits because i don't know it's a cool product that benefits me and the customer well, i guess all the products like benefit the customer because you get the product but this is more of like an experience for whoever gets the kit so i don't know i really i really like this product and i hope everyone's having a fun time making a coaster but i wanted to give a quick update i glued the fabric to the back of all of the coasters I've done and I just need to glue the felt on and then cut them out and do the branding tags but I'm gonna save that for either tonight or tomorrow because I kind of have a headache and I'm just like in weekend mode like I'm so excited that we have tomorrow off um, and I didn't know if I was gonna say this or not but tomorrow Sean asked me if I wanted to go ring shopping so we are gonna go look at rings tomorrow to see um, sizing and just like different styles I'm interested in. We've talked about this a lot. I knew we were gonna go ring shopping at some point, but I didn't know when. And we like never have any free time. So <laughs> we are taking advantage of the free day that we have tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, that's very exciting. We're gonna drop Duncan off after breakfast tomorrow at my parents and then we're gonna go do that. So yeah, oh crazy. We're going to my parents tonight. We have a lot of packages. I will show you everything that I'm picking up. I think we have a lot, but yeah, I'll show you it all um, once I get back here. And yeah, I'm kind of done for tonight. I say that, but I know that's not true. I'll probably work on prepping kit supplies when I'm at my parents. I just might not vlog it. So I will see you tomorrow or tonight when I finish these coasters. And yeah, we have the market Sunday still. I feel like we don't have a market this weekend, but that is not the case. <laughs> Okay, update on my last update. I'm actually gonna keep working on these coasters right now. We're not leaving quite yet to my parents. Um, and then I need to prepare stuff to bring to my parents so that we can work on the punch needle kit supplies over there. Also, I made myself another chai tea and I put the pumpkin spice Chobani creamer in it and it is so good. Definitely recommend. And I actually iced it because it's a little warm in here. I have sweatpants on, so that's probably why I'm warm. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep working on these coasters now and then head to my parents. What's your favorite kind of movie? It doesn't really matter to me. Cause I'm down to do whatever is the mood. Just tell me what I can do to make you mine. Baby, I've been trying to love you the way I do best. So would you just take my hand? And let's go Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice Take it for a walk while we talk about our lives I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time And I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time You can tell me how your day went And I will listen to the days end We could grab a dinner at a mom and pop Spin a while it's at a five star spot It doesn't matter what we're choosing Cause I could just spend all my time with you for all my days So just tell me how I can make you wanna be mine Tell me what I can try To love you the way you do best Can I just take your hand and let's go Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice Take it for a walk while we talk about our lives I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time And I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like I just wanna spend some quality time Some quality time It's almost four o'clock and I only finished a couple of coasters and then a phone grip. Uh, so I'll finish those later and we're about to head to my parents, but I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna put a cute outfit on cause I'm gonna bring my tote bags and Sean's gonna help me take some product photos for those tote bags to put on Etsy. So all of the new designs will be available on Etsy. Maybe not the, I can buy myself flowers because that one's been like pressing a little weird. So yeah gonna bring those and then I'm also bringing the yarn Sean's going to measure yarn for the kits while we're there and then I need to figure out something that 
I can bring to work on. I might bring these coasters and then I can finish those there. That could be a good idea. So yeah, that's a plan and I will take you along for the product photos because I've never included that in a vlog. So thought that'd be cool. Okay, so I just ordered a bunch more transfers so that I have them on stock since I'll be listing the tote bags on Etsy and she is out of the good vibe ones or the good vibes design so i won't be listing that tote bag and i'm not going to list the buy myself flowers one because i'm not happy with the way it's peeling so i still want to try to figure that out so that means i'll be listing that i'm pretty cool but i cry a lot which is my favorite and the fueled by iced coffee and anxiety and then what's the other one? Oh, the show up as the best version of yourself. I think that's what it says, something like that. And then I also ordered a new design. It says half human, half coffee, but I only got four of those. I wanna see how they peel before I get more. So hopefully she doesn't sell out of those, but I should be pretty good on stock with the ones I'm uploading. So yeah, let's head to my parents for these product photos. Okay, I think we found the spot in the yard that we want to take these photos at. So we're gonna do this. And I don't want my face in it because <laughs> I didn't do my makeup and that's just not necessary. So it's just going to be like the tote bag and like half my thigh, probably. What's your favorite kind of movie? It doesn't really matter to me. Because sometimes to do whatever is the mood. Just tell me what I can do to make you. <laughs> no way, why is that like the best lighting ever? Look at how good. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Just don't put, I mean, maybe same exact thing, but not my boots. Baby, I've been trying to love you the way I do best. So would you just take my hand and let's go. Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice. Take it for a walk while we talk about our lives. I just want to spend some quality time, some quality time. And I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like Okay, that was super quick. Now I'm gonna edit these photos and then list these bags on Etsy. It's 9.30 and we just got back from my parents and Sean didn't end up doing the yarn measuring because we kind of just had like a chill game night so we didn't work too much. Um, I did cut out the coasters from the felt but I forgot my glue gun so I couldn't put the um labels on the back so I think I'm gonna do that tonight and restock the board tonight and then I do want to open I thought I had more packages coming than I actually did I think it's that I have a lot of packages in the mail so I was a little confused I thought they were coming today but I think they're just in the mail uh, so when they do come I will share but I had an order from Timu come in and I've ordered these from them before and I love them. They're the collapsible bins and, and Timu has them for the best price. I used to get them from Hay, but Hay has like kind of ridiculous pricing for these. So Timu it is and you've probably seen them. I feel like every small business owner has these. They are so cute and functional because they're collapsible, so they're good for pop-ups. Um, I bring one to pop-ups, but I don't collapse it in between events. So this is what it looks like. This is the smaller size, and I got a few. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put them, but pretty much anything I organize goes into one of these bins, so I will find a use. Then I got it in this pretty lilac color. And I think these are different brands. This one is a little bigger. As you can tell. And then I got it in this even larger one. And then I got this storage container, which I don't know how the quality is gonna be. Also, I'm seeing I got a mini basket as well. So cute. I have a couple of these on my desk and I love them. They're so cute. I have like glue sticks in one of them. And then let's open this up. We will see. 
I honestly kind of have low expectations for this, but we will see. Looks like this. It's a little storage cart, and this should be so easy to put together, so I'm gonna quickly put it together. And it does have wheels. I don't know if I want to put the wheels on or if I just want to keep it on my desk. What should I do? Okay, I'm sure the purpose of this is going to change in the future, but for now I just put a bunch of my extra punch needles here for the kits. And then it also came with these little hooks, which I think could be really convenient. I don't know what I'm going to hang off of it, but obviously for now I just put a little heart decoration. And I think this little cart is so cute. So I put the wheels on it too. So, so yeah, I'm happy with it. Like I said, I'm probably going to change the function of it. But for now, this is super cute. Okay, then I have this big basket. These. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Wait, now I'm confused. I think everything for making candles I had in the big one. And I could totally put it in the smaller one. Not everything for making them, everything for finishing them. Like this. Or maybe I can move these boxes and this can go here. And then I'm thinking this big one can just be used for sticker paper. And I have laminating sheets up here too. So let me put that in here. Okay, I think that looks super cute now. Oh my gosh, I have so many of these bins on this rack. I also am wondering if I should move the boxes to this side, but I don't think I will because they're more accessible here and I'm going to need those quicker than I'll need the big poly mailers. So I think this is fine the way it is. And then I'm thinking I might use the little lavender one for my tags. Like that's so cute. So then it will look like this. I think I like that. And I'm looking at my sales for today and I have sold 16 punch needle kits. That is crazy. I feel like I'm at the same pace that I was when I did the first launch, which is not what I was expecting. So that's very exciting, but it's five of 10 right now. And I'm deciding what I want to do, if I should just go to bed or if I should finish these coasters. So I'm going to talk to Sean, see what his plan is and then make my decision. So I will either see you in a minute when I'm finishing these or tomorrow at some point when I'm finishing them. Like I said, we are going ring shopping tomorrow. We have an appointment at 12, so that's kind of tomorrow's plan. I'm gonna chill a little bit, so I won't be working too much, but I will still have to finish these at some point before the market, so I will see you soon. I really like you, I say I don't. I really like to tell you, but I won't. Gotta be careful, don't wanna say. But I've been feeling if you're not feeling the same I'm not good at reading between the lines But I'm not sure you're leaving me any signs So could you say what sign you want? Okay, I just restocked the car coasters So this is what we have for inventory for this weekend And I'm happy with it Some of them actually have four, which is crazy it's been a while um the evil eye has four the paw print has four um but i still have restocking that could have been done like i only have one stitch i'm out of the minions but yeah i think it looks pretty good oh <laughs> duncan's at the door um good morning today is saturday it's 10 47 and i've already been vlogging uh finishing those coasters and putting them on the board was this morning and i just got ready we're leaving in about an hour to go look at rings. <laughs> um, so I'm very excited. And my mom's coming over, she's gonna chill with Duncan. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna take photos. Maybe I'll take some clips and put the photos and clips in this video because why not? Um, I feel like some jewelry stores on a while. Yeah, if they don't let me take photos, that'll be interesting. I feel like you should be able to because- To remember. To, yeah, to remember like it's what you liked. Videos I don't think you can take. They won't know the difference if I'm 
snapping or taking a video. We will see. We'll see. If they don't allow it, they don't allow it. But I will try. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I do my makeup. I'm like <laughs> all done up. I like never get ready anymore. So this is, it feels good. But yeah, that's the update. Did I, I don't know if I already said it, but Sean's making candles right now. Are you planning on making the rest right now? There's only eight left. So, oh, and that's it? Yeah. Oh, so you're doing it now? Yeah. Okay, so he'll be done after this and then we'll just have to finish the candles. And then I think later we're gonna work on putting together supplies for the kits. I don't think I've sold any more since I last updated. I actually can't remember. I think we're at 16 kits sold. Let me double check, let's see. 16, and then I have some coaster orders and I also got an order for a location sticker this morning, so. It's been a while since I've gotten one of those ordered, but those are easy to do. Hopefully the next thing you see is footage of some rings. Otherwise, I will see you when we get back. Piques my interest a little bit. Yes. Machine and more in depth about it. So um, sorry to interrupt. I don't know if they're like, if you can reach out to them. I'm just set up. Yeah, these are like very similar. I love them all. Yeah, is that the one I did the studs for? It's like a bigger band, but it's a little less. Um, it tastes more organic. I think this is my favorite ring that I've looked at so far. I'm about to show her Pinterest photos. They do custom rings here too, so we will see if she has anything like my Pinterest photos. But this is gorgeous. Okay, now I'm stuck between these two. They're so similar, though. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we've been back from looking at rings for a while now and we're about to head to my parents I have all the stuff we need to prep kit supplies um, But I wanted to give a quick recap. We learned a lot looking at the rings um, and my goal was And the goal of us going there was to get sized and then for me to look at different styles I liked and kind of put together a few different ones that Sean can then choose from um, but as we were looking at different ones, we kept narrowing it down and there's one that I really, really, really like and so I might have a pretty good idea of the ring. Um, but yeah, the rest is in Sean's hands. Isn't that right, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> and it was really fun. It was a fun experience going together. I know not all couples want to do that, but we wanted to do that, so we did, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. And we're gonna go work on the kits at my parents, like I was saying, and then when I get back here, I think the only thing I really have to do tonight is print out labels for the candles so that Sean or I can put the labels on the bottoms, and we need to fix the sinkholes as well. So that's what needs to be done, but we're gonna spend majority of this afternoon and evening at my parents. Um, so yeah, I will see you when we're back here. We just got home from my parents and I'm about to make the stickers for the candles, but I wanna show you some packages that I got at my parents. So the first package, I was talking about this in my last vlog that I had ordered a bunch of bath bombs. I ordered four bath bombs from Coco Bath Co. C-O-C-O-A Bath Co. And they are the cutest bath bombs I've ever seen. I believe she makes them all herself. And they are fall slash Halloween themed. And I'm so excited to use them. Well, I guess not all of them are fall themed, but let me just show you. They're still in the plastic, but the first one is this caramel apple. How cute. And then I got the pumpkin pie one, also adorable with a little dollop of bath bomb whipped cream. <laughs> and even the little like cinnamon detail, so cute. I can't really smell them probably because they're in the wrap. Ooh, I think I can smell that one. This is the apple pie. And I definitely can cut this up and use it in more than one bath. This is a big bath bomb, so I think I'm going to cut them in half. And then this is huge. This is also a bath bomb. It's strawberry pound cake. Is this not so cute? I think I'm going to take them out of the wrapper and just like put them, I don't know, somewhere in my bathroom because they're just too cute to keep in the cabinet. But that is the first package. I am so obsessed. I need to take photos of that and put it on my Instagram, like on my story. 
Then I got some clothing and I actually want to try it on. So I'm just, should I try it on? I actually might be kind of lazy. You'll see it in future vlogs because both of these things are for markets. So they're for winter and fall markets. First thing, I wanted to get a pink sweater because obviously my branding is pink and I don't have a pink sweater. So these are both from ASOS. And it is so soft. I also got a really good deal on both of these. I think I paid 30 for each. Um, they were both on sale. So yeah, that's the first thing. Then, this I wasn't sure about. I wasn't sure my size. I took a gamble and also didn't know how it was gonna fit on me, how it was gonna look. And I really like it. Um, it is like a sweater material. I'm trying to find the top of it, but it's, so it's like a sweater dress, but it also has this tie. This is hard to see, not on me, but like I said, you'll see it in future videos. It has a tie, so it can kind of give more of a body, more of a shape to the dress. So it's not just like a rectangle. Um, but yeah, this is what the material looks like a little closer up super soft and fuzzy pretty cool so i got both of those also more of like a pink i don't know is this like mauve i'm not sure but i'm just gonna call it pink this is obviously way more like bubblegum pink but i'm excited to wear both of those and then i also got more white boxes for my kits that came in um and then i wanted to show you the work we got done on kit supplies so we didn't do a ton of ton but I cut out 18 pieces of felt, which is how many kits we've sold so far. Today is Saturday. Can't believe we've sold 18 since yesterday. Um, and then I have all these extra hoops that we didn't get to yet. Um, but Sean started, well, actually he cut out, I think, 18 or 17 pieces of fabric, some of which he cut a little too small so we can't use them, but he's also been stretching the fabric and he did one, two, three, four. So that's that. We still have a lot of work to do on the supplies. We just went to Harbor Freight and picked up a hand truck so that we'll have the carriage and then also hand truck to bring things to and from the vehicle for the markets that we can't park right up to our space, which is tomorrow. And then like all the indoor markets, you obviously can't pull up to your spot. So it's gonna hopefully come in handy. And yeah, I think that is it for updates. There was something I was thinking about on the way home that I wanted to mention. Oh, the fact that we're doing markets every weekend. It is a lot. <laughs> like, I don't wanna do this next year. Every single weekend have a market. And the reason that we did so many this summer and we're going to continue to do a lot into winter and fall or fall and winter is because we haven't done markets in New Hampshire yet. So we kind of wanted to like test out a bunch. And then next year, we're only going to do the ones that we think were worth our time. So that's just like what our plan is, why we're doing so many markets. It's definitely a lot and it's not sustainable. Um, every week has been very, very busy and I don't want it to be <laughs> that crazy all the time. Um, I don't mind it being like that if it's just for like online orders, but the markets themselves are just draining. It's a lot to, the whole process from waking up to going to bed that day is crazy every time we have a market. So it's a lot to do every week and we don't intend to do that forever. So I just wanted to mention that because I feel like I've never talked about that. So. Yeah, let's make these labels. It's bad enough that I'm bad in love. But if loving me is something you still wanna do, just want me to, well, want me to. Cause I've been going crazy trying to keep it in my chest. Acting like there isn't something I wanna confess When I'm dying to admit you got me head over my heels But I keep overthinking now I'm all up in my feels so bad 
Okay, there are a lot of noises going on, so I hope that's not too bothersome, but I'm printing out some business cards right now. Sean is finishing the sinkholes. Your business cards? Yeah, I told you I was doing that. I thought you said no. No, I said I'm gonna print out some business cards right now. Um, but as you saw, I just made a couple of tote bags for my friends for the girls' night, and I wanted to share. I got the little craft that we're gonna do in the mail, so, I was saying in the last vlog that I wanted to uh, order more felting kits and they were a little more than I wanted to pay. So I got kind of the same thing. Uh, it's a little different, I'll show you. It's from the same company though. Um, and then I also have another friend coming before this fall night and I started planning this before I knew she was coming. So. I'm gonna plan a little something different, but I think we're gonna do like pumpkin painting is what I'm thinking, like little pumpkins and I'll get paint, you can paint that and then I'll still do like fall food. And yeah, I don't know, I like to have a little activity. I feel like that would be cool. But <clears throat> let me show you these kits. I got one for myself and then one for each of my two friends. And we're gonna make this little mushroom art and I think it will be the cutest little piece of decor that they can put in their room or their living room. But isn't it so adorable? I think it's like a fairly good size, like fits in your hand. So I ordered three of these and I'm gonna put one in their bag. Also the market is 11 to 6 p.m. but it's first come first serve so we are leaving at 7 a.m. It's an hour drive, it's in Salem, Massachusetts, right across from what the Salem which museum? Which museum? So yes, I will see you tomorrow. It's 7.25, I'm so, so tired. <laughs> I'm not a morning person at all. But like I said, it takes an hour to get there and it's first come first serve, so we will figure out where we're going in terms of our spot when we get there. Duncan's ready to go. And I also have my new sweater on. This is one of the two items that I got and I'm wearing these clay earrings that I got at a market. I think the company is Jaden's Craft Shack, she's on Instagram, but yeah, I think this is so cute. I'm excited to wear it. It's a chilly day, it's like in the 50s right now, and the high I think is 61, so it's cold all day. And yeah, I will see you once we arrive.
He's a man. This is a real one. <laughs> how, how old is Duncan? He's five, five months. Five oh, five months? Yeah. Oh, real puppy. Minus six. Cute. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think you should get one. I think you should get one. Oh, she like a Oh, really? She's about oh this size, so they just like knock each other over. Some people were asking to see how I set up this camera angle and this is how I do it. It's a GoPro up in the corner with this attachment. And then I often put it in that corner or that corner as well. We're at 525. Uh. I might need to grab my cable for you. We just got back home, it's 7.30, and I am drained. I'm so tired, I'm ready to relax, although I feel like I can't relax because I have so much to do. I need to prep all of the supplies for the kits. I think we sold over 20 kits, which is insane. Uh, wasn't expecting that, so like that's crazy. Um, so I need to prep all the supplies for that. Sean's gonna help me with that too, so that's good. We might work on that tonight. And then I just have a lot of car coaster orders and I think one big coaster order. Just a lot of pending orders, which always kind of like stresses me out when I have that. It's like, it's like when you have homework, that's the same feeling. It's just like you know that you have stuff to do by a certain date. Yeah, I know what's going to get done, so I need to not stress about it. And then I just have a lot of little things to do. I took footage today of like filming putting up my banner because people on TikTok wanted to see how I did that. So I need to edit that and post the TikTok. I think I'm gonna do that tonight. Um, just like so much restocking needs to be done. For next weekend, also I'm having a friend over next weekend so I wanna put time into planning a little fall day. I was writing a whole to-do list on the way home. I have a lot of stickers and I need to restock. I need to order more keychains. Uh, we sold $1,039 worth of inventory today. That's what we made. Uh, so that's very good. I am so happy with that. It was also kind of a gloomy, well, it was definitely a gloomy, rainy day today. So I can only imagine when it's like a beautiful day, how the turnout is. So yeah, that was really good. I wore my new sweater. I love it. So warm. It kept me warm all day. I have a couple of stories to tell you. So at the beginning of the market, like right when it started, it started at 11, uh, there was a dog that Duncan wanted to meet and it was near our booth and I grabbed the leash from Sean to have Duncan come meet this dog and I think as I grabbed the leash, I also grabbed a wasp or like a bee, a yellow jacket type thing and I felt pain and I opened my hand and a bee flew out and it stung me right in my hand and it honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it was. You can see it right here. 
it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna like swell up and be like super painful all day, but it wasn't that bad. So that was actually kind of good. Overall, it was a great market, great day, went by super fast. Sometimes markets can drag on. It didn't drag on. I'm still tired, but it went by pretty quickly. Also, I think I'm gonna put a screenshot of our spreadsheet on the screen right now. This shows the percentage of sales, how much of each item we sold, how much we made for each item, and it's just a pretty good breakdown of the day as a whole. And this is what we use at every market. We manually enter what we sell after every order or every few orders. And I actually sell this spreadsheet. I'll link it below on my Etsy and I have gotten feedback from a couple of customers. They say they really like it and it's a helpful tool for tracking sales at markets. So I just wanted to mention that. And yeah, I had a great day. I'm still gonna relax tonight. I'm gonna take a bath, but I do have more work to do, like I was saying. So another busy week ahead of us. So I will be vlogging as usual and I hope to see you in my next studio vlog. I'm also still contemplating filming a pop-up essentials video or something along those lines. Let me know again if that's something you're interested in and I will consider doing that sooner rather than later. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. If you watched till this point, I appreciate it so much. And if you ordered a kit or anything from my shop, I also very, very much appreciate that and I'm working hard on getting your orders out, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.